Welcome to Shom Achshava on the Daf. She responds over Mishpas Ami Akasholo in Melea Pasitzchok. We are in the middle of the sugyas of Rabbi Bachano, as we started in the previous Daf. We're basing ourselves on the shiurim of Ramuy Shapir as it's all in on the Zagartas shiurim that he gave for three years, and we just put it out in a safer call in the Chusi Yoma. This is the safer of the shiurim of Ramuy on the Zagartas. And in this stage, where we're holding, we're getting now to Dafayindal the Mudalif. Um, and we're starting the first Agatha, starting on Gimel base on the bottom. We have over here, the, in the middle of the process, where Ramosha is coming and explaining Agatha's base of his understanding. We have, in the beginning of the Sugis, we have the Vilna going, the first five Mahamorim, the Vilna going, he has a shot. Ramosha, in some of the Mahamorim, brings the Marashal, the Maharal. But here is one of the Ma'amorim that Ramosh is explaining on his own. So the Gemara tells us, starting on Gimel, based on the bottom, Omar Li, so talk about the Ishmaeli, the Arab, showing Rabbi Rabbi Ta Ach Viloch Meisim Midbar. I'll show you the Meisim Midbar, the people in the Midbar that died. So he says, so in other words, he's going to show him the Dura Midbar, the Dura of the generation, the left Mitzrayim and went there and came to the Midbar. And let's, I want to show it to him. The Mishmaeli is showing our Bechano the Mesim Midbar. Asli, Chazesinu, I came and I saw them. Fedomu Kiman de Mifsimi. And I saw as if they were drunk. Meaning, they were, they looked like in a very good mood. The Rajbam says, Shashoychvim beponim tsehuvo is kishtu yeyayim. And the Gemara goes on to find out on Davatap. They go to a park it. They're laying down on the back. They have a skifo birko de And the, the, the knee of one of them was picked up. The ayel taye tutis birke. And the, the Ishmaeli went under the knee. Kirochiv gam while he's riding a camel. The skifo ramche. And his sword was picked up. Philoinogabe did not touch the knee. I took a piece of tchelis from one of the tzitzis. Philoinogabe mistagilet, I was not able to move. Omeli, so told me the Ishmaeli, they almost shocked me the minayu, so maybe you took something from them. So, Adri, return it. The Gemir demanded, shock you, me the minayu, lo mistagilet. So, you take something from them, you're not going to be able to walk. Ozala Adarta returned it, told the Mistagala, and they were able to walk. Also, the Kameh, the Rabbanon, came from Rabbanon, Amrulli told me, Kol Abo Chamro, meaning that the Rajbam explains that Abba is the name of Rabbanon Chano. The Chola Machana Sichso, Sichso, meaning the Kolam Abo is a Chamro, is a Shaitek Chamor, is a Rajbam, and Baba Chana Sichso is a Shaita again. Why do you want to take the tzitzis of Dura Midbar? You want to know what the Allah is in tzitzis. Right, the Rishbam explains uh, how many chutim you need to have. You should have just count them and then you'll figure it out. So again, another agat over here, which is unclear what exactly is going on. Yeah, obviously, it doesn't mean literally he went and saw Mesa Midbar and the Ishmaeli goes under their knee, they're laying down. What's going on? So, Ramosha Zetzal, Ramosha Bir Zetzal, explained with Agdoma as the following. In this world, we have a, an idea called that the world is, the way HaKadosh Baruch Hu created the world is Bonoi Vechorev Ubonoi. The, the, the Medrash, the beginning of Sefer Bereshis, and the Shrap right away says it. The HaKadosh Baruch Hu created the world in a Mahalach of Bonoi Vechorev Ubonoi. So it says, Bereshit Bar Lokim is a Shemaim Mesoharitz. That's the beginning of the Brio. Ve'aharitz oisa soyu v'avoyu v'choshech ebnei te'orim. That's the destruction. Ve'yem elokim yiyar, that's the or. It says, Yaakov Avinu, when he came, the message says, Yaakov Avinu came to Besamidu, she saw that Besamidu is bonoi v'chor v'bonoi. What's the idea of this Mahalach? The idea is that Kosh Baruch created in the world. There is the Brio. There is a break that takes away something that we have. And then we have to rebuild and come back to where we originally, where originally were, or we originally, or even better than originally were. That's the ma'alach, the way Akash created the world. The world is shalim 
a break in a show. Every day we have it. We have a day, and we have a night. And night is considered to be time of Kurban. Then you come back to the day. So, and in, in, in the Mahalach of the world, we have Am Yisrael when it's great, again, then there's Kurban, and then there's a Benin again. The Dora Midbar were considered to be the Kurban, says Ramayashi. In what way? Am is coming at Mitzrayim. That's unbelievable. See, as Mitzrayim, Am Yisrael starts. But before they go to Eretz Yisrael, and they have the Mahalach, there's a Kurban. There's Mesi Midbar that are Chorban. So Mesi Midbar, or the break in between, going from the Mitzrayim into Eretz Yisrael. That's what the Mesi Midbar are. Now, what is Rabbi Khan is telling us? What's the story of Rabbi Khan? It explains the emotion like this. I want to tell you, the Yishmaeli, who the whole Mahalach of the Yishmaeli is that he's, trav- he's a traveler. Yishmaeli throughout the Gemara is considered to be someone who travels from place to place. So he's traveling from place to place. He's also traveling from different time, times in history. And he wants to tell us, what is our shaykhis? The Ishmaeli is a remis. What is the shaykhis of Ham Yisrael in this? And Ham Yisrael, the king to Eretz Yisrael, and so, going forward the whole history, to Mesa Midbar. Do we have a connection to Mesa Midbar? Are we shaykh to Mesa Midbar? So says the Ishmael, let me show you Mesa Midbar mean. Let me show you what is the connection, what is the shaykhis between us and the war and the generation of Khurban. The Khurban means of Khurban of Amisul Grand Amitrai. Amisul goes out of Mitzrayim. They lose something, they come back. What do we have left from that time of Khurban? What is it? So he says like this. So the 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 the, the Israeli, when he comes and he shows in the Mesa Midbar, first of all he sees what is Mesa Midbar? The Mesa Midbar or Kiman de Mevasme. They are completely satisfied and happy. What does that mean? They near him shlain me mimitsuyuso. Right? They, they are not, they don't need anything. What does that tell me? Because the Torah was given to Mesa Midbar. Don't think the Mesa Midbar were missing something. The Torah was coming here just to fulfill their need. Mesa Midbar were shlain me, Adam, they were very high madrego. The Torah came to people in a very high madrigal. It's not like to fix a, a lack of something. That's that that thing. Now, the when I want to come and tell you how, how great and how big the Mesa Midbar are. How do we emphasize that? We say the Mesa Midbar, they fold their foot, they put the knee up. The feet is the lowest part of the other. The Ishmaeli is riding a camel. So a human being. And his head, he is, that's the highest part of the person. When he's riding a camel, he's considered to be in a higher level. Right? The, 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 Ramesha brings you the Maharal on the post that says, Right? That when a person is riding a camel, that's the highest level of a, person, of a human being. He's, he's not only a human being, he's riding something. What is he riding? That one of the highest creatures he can ride. So it's considered to be a high level of a human being. So you want to see, in this generation, the Adam on top of the, the Adam who's on top of the camel, the this generation, the person on top of the camel is still lower than the foot of Dura Look how big, look how great Dura Midbar is. When Dura Midbar goes and he folds their foot, the Ish on the Gamal, the person on the camel, is going under it and he is still not reaching the foot of the Dura Midbar. Now, the, when we talk about the fact that Dura Midbar is sitting over here, and they are laying down, and they're busamim, and they're such a great madrego. The idea is that Dura Midbar, what's, what's the level of Dura Midbar? Dura Midbar are in the level of Tchias Amesim. He brings a lotion of Zoya, that the Dura Midbar, when the, the Torah was given, Porcha Nishmasam, Kishbuhu gave them back their life, right? They were staying out of Sinai, and they died, and they came back to life. So coming back to life, there was a Tchias Amesim. So they're living in a madrig in a level of Tresamesi. So comes their midbar, they're not really dead. That's what he's trying to say. Their midbar is coming, you see them laying down. They look like they're relaxed, look like they're having a good time. What's trying that? To tell you their midbar is such a great madriga, and, and they are already in the level of Tresamesi. Now, so now that we see the, this great madriga of the Dura Midbar. So, so says Ramon, what is the shaykh is the real Dura Midbar? 
the fact that Am Yisrael Yishlem Chelik Lo Yilam Abba, that's the Shaykhist of the Ram Midbar. The Ram Midbar of B'yadam Shleim, B'yadam already, so to speak, died and came back to life. What do we have from them? We have the Shaykhist of the Ram Haba. We have Shaykhist of Chiyas Amesi, because they already did it once. They give Am Yisrael the Yicholis, the ability to be in that level. And that's, that's the Nekudu Rishayin of the Maimah. He comes, the Ishmaeli, shows Rabbi Rochana, the Mesa Midbar laying down in such a way that shows the great Madragan, the fact that they're still alive, tells you that's our connection. Our connection to Midbar is the fact that we have Shaykhis that Chiesa Mesi, really we inherited Chiesa Mesi from them. Now, just to conclude over here, the, the, what's the end of the Maimah? Then the Maimah comes Rabbi Rochana and tries to take the tzitzis away from the Ramid. What's the point over there? What's the Shaykhis? So explains the Moshe is the following. We know Ramban says that the the Sefer Bamidbar doesn't have mitzvahs. It doesn't have no mitzvahs. It's only the story of Amisu and the Midbar, and that's it. So the obvious question is, where do we have the mitzvah of Tzitzis? The mitzvah of Tzitzis is in Parsha Shlach. So you do have mitzvahs. So what does Ramban mean there's no mitzvahs? And the pshat is, none, no mitzvah that was supposed to be there originally came in Bamidbar. Only things that happen because of what happened in the Midbar. Where is the Parsha of Tzitzis? After the Miracle. After the Midbar lost their chance to go into Eretz Yisrael, then they got the Mitzvah of Tzitzis. What's the Shaykhis? Explains the Moshe like this. What did the Midbar do? What was the mistake they did when they went to Eretz Yisrael? So the Gemara tells us in Hedri, Nikdimu Pelayin, we're in a few places, but they went in Nikdimu Pelayin, which means they went and they did not see things in the right way. They saw what they wanted to see. They went there to saw the Miraglim, telling Amish souls going there to Saul, and they misinterpreted what they saw because they did not have the right eyesight. That was their mistake. They didn't understand what they were seeing. So in order to fix the eyesight, what do we do? The mitzvah of tzitzis, which always brings, brings out here as well, also in short, that tzitzis has two colors, has white, has the trellis. The white is the shayrish, is the source of all colors. Because you put all colors together, it turns to white. So the white is the source of all colors. It's the black. Then when you go, the trellis represents infinity. As the Ramban says, that's why the sky looks is blue, because it's infinity. It says trellis, loshon tachlis. What is the idea of tzitzis? With the eyes said, you can go from this world to a much higher place. For why? What's the idea of the trellis of the tzitzis? To the trellis of the tzitzis, you, it reminds you about the sea, it reminds you about the shamayim, it reminds you of Kisya Kovit. You're able to see, very easy, my so is a heart that was called Mitzvah Hashem. You, through your eyesight, you're able to connect the tzitzis and see the right thing. Through the tzitzis, you're able to connect to HaKadosh Baruch. So, so, so says Ramosha, that's the Pshat here in the Gemara. The the Dara Midbar brought tzitzis. When? When they lost the fact that went to Eretz Yisrael. The tikku of the Dara Midbar is the tzitzis. So, so he says, um, so he says, that's the idea. The tzitzis came through what they did. They made a mistake in the eyesight. Through there, we got the tzitzis. That's what we got to. And that's what, that, and that's what we have over here. So concludes your motion says, but what will happen over here? Rabbi Khan is trying to cut off the tzitzis of Dara Midbar. And take it with him. What does that mean? So he says, because we don't really have shaykhs that are midbar in this generation. And this generation, in, in, you know, in oil of Hazen, meaning to say, not, this world, Dura Midbar is a different aspect. We don't have anything to do with Dura Midbar. Dura Midbar doesn't go there to so it stays in the Midbar, we don't have shaykhs. We have shaykhs Dura Midbar only in the Gabit Chesamais in Los But in this world, we don't have shaykhs Dura Midbar. So comes Rabbi Khan and says, let me take the tzitzis of Dura Midbar and we'll learn from there. He can't move. You can't connect the level of Dura Midbar by Olam Hazim. Um, and explains Rabbi Moshe, once Am Yisrael goes into Eretz Yisrael, they start a new Mahalach, which is independent from Dura Midbar. If Dura Midbar is a stop, it's a Chorban, in this world. Now Dura Midbar, they try to go, they stop, they have to start again. It's a new Mahalach. It's a ma'aluch now that stands on its own. So we may what? Says, look, we may what? If it's a new ma'aluch, you can't connect to it. 
So the Rav Bachan is trying to take the tzitzis out of the Ramidbar. He's not able to walk. There's no walking. There's no istkadmut. There's no progress if you continue the Ramidbar. But, we're going to go to Eretz Yisrael together with the Ramidbar. So it's brought down that, that uh, in the Chazal Tzifar Zoya says it, it's based on the Pasuk in Yechezkel, that Amisul Amis will come back to Eretz Yisrael, will come back like it's Yezbit's right. Meaning, and it says the entire Dura Midbar will come to Eretz Yisrael. Moshe Benin will bring them. He's the Baal Pekot and he's going to bring them. Meaning, then we can connect Dura Midbar. So it comes out, what is the Mahalach of this Maimon? Rabbi Chana is seeing, is connecting, understanding what is Dura Midbar. Dura Midbar is such an unbelievable Madrega. Dura Midbar belong to Tchiyas Amesim. They give us the Koyach of Tchiyas Amesim. But in this world, we have to do our own Mahalach, not connected to, to Dura Midbar. Therefore, we can't take the Tzitzis. But we got mitzvah tzitzis through Dermidbar. That's why the tzitzis belong to Dermidbar. Because they brought us Dermidbar. But then, once you get the tzitzis from Dermidbar, now you can't take it because you have to start your own mahalach. So you have a look in a little tidbits. Anyone who wants to check the safer more in Parachava, a little bit of a mahalach to understand the mimer of this Gemara. I, well, I encourage everyone to come and join the Shomach Shava Shurim. And to learn these agatas and many other agatas, every daf and shas, to learn some machshavo on every daf. Kaltuf.